Hey guys, it's Vivs here from SlideNerd. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to install Xcode 7 on your Mac. Before I start that, there are two things I would like to point out. First, if you go to my channel SlideNerd, if you go to playlist, you will find this video and the rest of the video right here in the playlist called iOS Swift Tutorial for Beginners. Second, if you go to Google and if you type SlideNerd Udemy, you will find my official link where I'm gonna post stuff about how to make apps for Android, iOS and other mobile devices out there. So be sure to check these two links. First going back to Google, let's download Xcode by simply saying download Xcode. When we do that, the first link is from developer.apple.com. Let's open that link in the new tab. So immediately I'm presented with this page where I get the option to download Xcode 7. I'm going to select this option here which happens to be the latest Xcode at the time of recording this video. Immediately, Apple is going to ask me for my account and ID. Apple ID is free to create. If you don't have it, just select the first option, open that in the new tab and take a look at all the details that you need to fill to create your Apple ID. Details includes stuff like your name, your Apple ID and password, security questions, date of birth, email address, mailing address, email preferences and finally a verification. It's free to create and you can do it within two minutes if you don't have an Apple ID already. In my case, I already have an Apple ID, so I'm just going to enter the username and password for that and hit sign in button over here. Immediately, I'm taken to a page where WWDC live streaming is being displayed to me. I can still download Xcode by going down here in the section where they talk about technologies and there is Xcode right over there. When I click on that, the last tab here is download. Let's select the tab and hit the download button here. And there you go. On the bottom left corner, my Xcode has started downloading. Depending on your internet speed, it's going to take anywhere from 20 minutes to 5 hours. After the complete file has downloaded, it's right here on my desktop. Let's double click it and start it. At this step, you notice that Xcode is going to perform some verification. Let that verification complete instead of just skipping it to ensure that it is not corrupted. After the verification is over, I'm taken to the screen where it says drag and drop Xcode into applications. Let's do that. Just drag it and drop it inside the applications folder. Immediately, you will notice this dialog that says preparing to copy Xcode to applications. Now it's a 4GB file, which means it's gonna take some time to copy right from your desktop to your applications folder. Once the install is complete, you can go here to applications and you can start Xcode right from there. The first time you start Xcode, you're gonna get this dialog that says verifying Xcode beta. Let that verification complete. Once the verification is complete, I get this message saying Xcode is downloaded from the internet, you want to open it. I will say open here. After a few seconds, I get this screen here that says Xcode iOS license agreement. I'm just going to click agree over there and it's going to ask me the password. After entering the password, just click OK over here and Xcode is going to start installing stuff. And immediately we see the home screen of Xcode start where we have our existing projects on the right hand side and some options on the left hand side. If you install Xcode for the very first time, then you have nothing here on the right. To make a Hello World application, you can select either option 1 or option 2. Option 1 will open up an editor where you can type whatever you want and you will see the output of that code without hitting build or compile or anything of that sort. Option 2 is where you can make your iOS application. Let's select the option second here. And immediately, I'm taken to the screen where I have three options on the left. iOS, Watch OS for Watch Apps and OS X which would be the basic Mac applications. I'm going to select iOS here on the left and select single view application because we just want one screen that says hello world. Click next and it's going to ask you the name of the product. I'm going to call this hello world. The name of the organization in my case is going to be SlideNerd and the organization identifier is going to be waves.slidenerd. The language here is going to be Swift instead of the usual Objective-C. The devices here in my case is going to be universal, meaning this app is going to run on both the iPhone and the iPad. And I will hit next at this point and it's going to ask me where I want to save all the examples. In my case, I have a folder where I save all my iOS projects and Android projects separately. So I'm going to select this iOS projects folder here and I'll go at the bottom and I'll say create a Git repository on Mac. Now this Git repository is simply going to let me upload my project to a site like GitHub or Bitbucket. So I will just hit create at the bottom. Once done, I'm taken to the screen where Xcode has started and it is showing the structure of our project. I can just double click it and make sure that it takes the full screen space on the left side here you will notice that at the top 
we have this area called the project navigator inside that you have all the files that are related to your project for starters all the swift files are what the developer sees and works with that would be the code the main dot storyboard is what the user sees is the user interface of your app in our case it's this white screen that you currently see out here you can run the app right now by going at the top right here at the top left corner we have the option to run the project which is called build and then run the current scheme we can select which device we want by just clicking on this area here and you will notice that we have a list of devices even if your list is different from mine you can run it on any device for now and then add more devices let me show you how we can do that as well let's say i select the iphone 5s for now and just click run here at the top the iphone 5s simulator here uses ios version 9.0 right now you see this white blank screen which is the same as what we have in the main dot storyboard file which is why i mentioned earlier that this is what the user sees so if you want to display hello world here you need to edit this file in other words you need to add a static piece of text the widget that you can use to add a static piece of text would be a ui label in ios if you go down right here to the bottom right corner you see this area where a view controller storyboard reference and some other things are given you can even scroll through the list of items these are the widgets that you can add to your app in our case we need a label so we'll just go to the search box at the bottom and type label over there once we do that notice it says a variably sized amount of static text is a label we need to just drag and drop this to our screen let's just drag and drop it somewhere over there now we can adjust the position of this label wherever we want we can just take it say to the top left corner here at that place over there and we can give it a name by just double clicking that item so just double click it and we will write hello world inside and just hit return on your keyboard with this the hello world text is basically done let's try to run the app by saving first we can go to file and we can say save or we can say command s as shortcut for doing that and now when you run the app at the top it says do you want to stop hello world here since it's already running on our ios simulator we need to first stop it and then relaunch it so just click stop here and you see the app running currently where it displays hello world in the exact same position as we wanted to so in the next video onwards let's take a look at how we can customize this and build better things with ios so in this video i have shown you the bare bones hello world ios application using ios 9 and xcode 7 there's a lot more to learn in ios so be sure to search us on udemy by saying slide on udemy on google you can also follow us on our social accounts like on Facebook and slide on Twitter and all the code for this video and the remaining videos is found on slide on GitHub if you type it out on Google. In the meantime, if you like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to slide note and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.